Okay, you want random? This is pretty random. We went to Flamingo Land. Nine o'clock the night before, we were like, where should we go tomorrow? And Flamingo Land was decided. So this is random, Flamingo Land. It's about to go seven o'clock in the morning. I'm up, and guess what I've just found in my car? It's like bad traits of any. So today we're gonna to go to uh, Flamingo Land. Now I've always wanted to go back to Flamingo Land ever since I was a kid. It's near Whitby. Um, get the York you've gone too far. Uh, let's see if Annie's up for a start, so it should be an interesting day. She's awake. Bang on. Right, yesterday, what have you done? What do you mean? What did you do? What? Oh. <laughs> Nothing I haven't ever done before. I wonder if there's still some left in here. I could do with some this morning. Okay, this is a jump cut that was us just before we set off, and now the next clip is us there. We're finally here. After a few wrong turns, Annie's sat and having skills are getting a little bit better, but now she's like, you need to go that way. Which way? The way we just went past. Yeah, I And then we just drove past a massive sign. Like, where is this place? Like, oh yeah. I was like, we right there maybe? And then all of a sudden this big sign goes <laughs> on. Flamingo Land! I don't know how I managed it, but I did forget to do a few bits when I filmed the interview before. So you're going to have me in Flamingo Land, me later on the night, then me doing the pickup bit, now me doing this. Welcome to Flamingo Land. That bit of footage is not the entrance to Flamingo Land, that's from later on, but that just goes to show that this footage will be all over the place. I'll keep appearing, there'll be random clips. Zazaba, Flamingo Land. So at the entrance of Flamingo Land, I was like, huh, not a lot going on here. But then, there was a dinosaur, and that was okay. Wow. Looks like the scene from Jurassic Park. There's nothing in there. By the looks of it, anyway. It's like, here, come and see the zoo. Come and see the zoo. Come and see the animals at the zoo. Find the animals. Hide and seek. Where's Wally? And he's never seen a giraffe before. One off the bucket list. Yep. There is a couple of CCTV shots that I keep appearing here every time I go somewhere I always get it CCTV. Someday I will do CCTV number three. Someday it's been seven years since I did the second one so. So we couldn't find the uh, tiger before. The tiger must be over there. Um, now we can't find the lion. The wino! Don't worry, this guy is to pick all the strokes up from. So I've been waiting on this limited edition thing of the True Romance being released and I'm losing hope that it's ever going to come out. Now I've been planning a review, tribute for it for ages, and it would have been cool to do the zoo scene at the zoo, but obviously, unfortunately, I have to wait. So there's a cheeky little True Romance Easter egg coming soon thing in that one. It's meant to be by the chimpanzees. That's where it's meant to be from. Okay, the aquarium. First off, I thought I entered through the fire exit. It was gritty, it was dark, and he walked through the wall. But I did get to see a one eyed piranha. Does he look? <laughs> then look at the size of these fish, they're huge. Jesus, do you understand the chances that the, uh, like only them try to get you to the side of the thing? They're evil. They're pure evil. But this tank is the best. That's a brilliant observation, isn't it? It's a pump. 
how awesome is that it's a pump that is in one of the windows it's just like oh the back end must have dropped out oh forget about it but then i met the world's angriest fish in a fish tank and this guy needs some auto dubbing hey you what are you looking at me for i'm a fish, <laughs> fish tank will you help me out i just want to be out i hate you what are you looking at get away from this fish tank this is my glasses get away 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 A tiger can, it's one with a cub, but that means there is another one somewhere. Here we are at Baboon Island. Now, recently I did a review for Shackman, and um, there's one there. It's a Cape Baboon. Look at staring at us. Now the Shackman one's a more primal one. Just trying to get a better close up of those. That one's sitting on the rock. <laughs> that is Shackman, right there. They are like primal warriors. Look at his red ass. So we're on the monorail. Yeah. Okay. Now there is Baboon Island. So yeah, if you haven't seen Shackman, Shackman's a really like, good movie, a little 90s movie. It's basically um, a baboon being operated on, it's got a bit of primal rage going on there. And there's no rhinos over there who's bombing this video. Um, and he gets locked in an uh, office building, isn't he? With um, loads of people playing Dungeons and Dragons and he wakes up and goes to the killing spring. <laughs> but it is a real baboon. It's not the same. But you're asking for Looks like there's four people men sitting here. No idea. Move pigeon out the way. Yeah. Let's go. Get off. Where'd it go? That's good. No, it didn't. Oh, the tree, it's in the tree. Wow. <laughs> the pigeon nearly got it there, like, yeah. wow. That pigeon had a death wish, that needle flattened. I think it was there, so. Hey, Bambi. What are you doing up there? Now, one of them's got to be called Jeff. <laughs> he looks like a Jeff. You called Jeff? Actually looks a bit like Ned, like Cody going on. <laughs> oh. Right, Ned. So this is the the peacock. Oh. Damn it! Then me and Annie found a haunted house. Ali, hurry up, let me go. Ali, Ali. Go, Ali, it's bad, that No? Yeah. It's one of them rooms again. What? Oh. There was one thing about Flamingo Park, it was empty. There was hardly anybody around. Even with the horrible penguins. There was no one even at the penguins. There is just like nobody here today. <laughs> Apart from it being empty, I know it's at the end of the season, but the place was quite dirty, grimy. You hardly seen anyone about doing maintenance. It looked like it needed a good paint job. And just some general maintenance around the areas. I mean, it was just like, wow, this is really gritty, grimy. Ugh. 
Okay, so any scare height and any scare of roller coasters, so, so the following footage following footage will be uncut of Annie on a roller coaster, which I find genuinely hilarious. I'm gonna have nightmares about this shit. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh shit! Fuck me! Oh my god! <laughs> Don't make this swear, it's a children's rise. Kids should be at school. <laughs> Fuck the kids. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, oh indeed. <laughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. Why are we still spinning? <laughs> Fuck that. Fuck on that. Why did we have dinner before going on the rides? I totally didn't film this, but I just went in. It just happened like that. So recently, Annie has expressed interest in driving. So this was Annie's first driving lesson. So, rules of the road. No road rage. Okay, yeah. This sounds super healthy. Oh, we're getting somewhere eventually. How pretty is that? Come on, come on. We can do it. Hey, at least I'm not last. Come on. Zoom. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Just go, go, go. I'm trying to win. I'm trying to get that red car behind me. We would have had the red car behind us if you didn't crash. I didn't crash. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The driving's alright. Thanks. Move it. Just go through. Now I've seen the log ride or the river ride, whatever they want to call it, and it's most popular time is at the end of the day because everyone gets soaking wet on it. We're totally going on that. We're totally going on that. And I didn't think I was going to get Annie on it. And once she was on it, there was no getting off it. Didn't film it because the camera would have got absolutely drenched. And Annie was absolutely going hysterical. Don't you ever, ever, ever get me on a ride again. <laughs> but you got it. And then we've seen the pictures. And I mean, the thing about the picture is Annie's just like scared to death. And I look bald as fuck. I'm like, oh, should have worn me hat. What I'll do is then take him over. Yeah, and then we couldn't film on the ride, so we've bought the souvenir picture of Annie absolutely bricking it. <laughs> Wearing your jacket, still getting soaked. Did you enjoy it though? I did. I did. The only real letdown about Flamingo Land is the ride they've got rid of. I mean, they've got this big riverbank up there. And I used to remember you get the boat and it would go around and you would see these objects like the bit here. So years ago I harped on about these things in the woods and there's one of them still there, there's an elephant there They used to do this big ass long like river ride up the top and you used to have to spot stuff to put water on the camera and uh, there's one of the elephants in there but I remember when we got to the very end there was a Tyrannosaurus Rex but uh, yeah, just good that that ride wasn't there but it was like 20 years ago I imagine 
So there would be an elephant, there'd be like a hippo, there'd be loads of random animals. And when you got to the top, there was like a T-Rex popping out there. And I was like, there's a kid. I was like, oh. it was such like a startling image. And it's gone, replaced by just other stuff. But what a lack that is. Unbelievable, after all the day, I dropped my camera and now down underneath the fucking car. So <sighs> oh. after that disaster, I actually found a poster. <clears throat> So I'll show you when I get home. Found someone's wallet, so I handed it in, given it was full of money. So how I roll. So after Flamingo Land, we went to Malton. Did I get that right? Malton. We're in Malton. Surprise, surprise. I just found a church to put in Malton. Coffee. And this is where the footage is going to cross between me when I got back after a few beers at the Traveller's Rest. And the following footage is me that night after about five pints. So thanks for watching this bit of footage and I hope you enjoy the outtake of me. Fueled with beer. After a long drive, we're finally back in concert and ordering food at the Traveller's Rest. We're changing Barry's menu to fish and hips. Whatever! God, it's so late. I'm filming this and I'm going to bed. It's so late. Now I'm going to plug on my new light. But I haven't fixed that properly ever. Great. Okay. That is part of my new light. And this bit is the other part of it. Jump cut. Fast forward cut. Whoops. So I just got back after a long last drive. Got lost a couple of times. Had a few beers. Hit a few spoons. Sorry Barry. Sorry Emily. Sorry. Where'd they go? So I've got this guy who I won on the grabbing machine. Friday night from Freddy's. No idea who he is. Looks a bit like me. Woof woof girl. Woof woof. So anyways, there's a couple of outtakes here. So we ended up in Malton. Malton. We ended up with this place called The Shambles. Before The Shambles was a place selling uh, figures and stuff like that. For £30 a penny. I was like, what? Why the penny? I did, however, find this. Wow. Lying on the street corner in boxes the guy was selling for 10 pence. I was like, wow, do you realise what this is? Now, this is not the original version of Gremlins, but this is the version that Gremlins had. It has no pictures on the back and has comedy spelt wrong on the back. Which is what I discovered when I first did the Gremlins tribute, the remake, and I read all that out on camera. I was like, hang on a minute, comedy spelt wrong. So to find that for 10 pence was awesome, because it's a misprint. Now the day I bought a post now, funny enough, I'm wearing this t-shirt when I've just realised what I'm about to talk about. So once upon a time, the room next door to me was my granddad's, who sadly passed away. Now when I was a kid, he had a picture of a tiger, and as a kid, I was like, ooh, tiger. And then somewhere over the line, my dad moved back in when I was younger, and then he replaced that poster with a picture of the Highlander. So that poster became the back of the door. I have no idea what happened to the Tiger poster. My dad's now been in New Zealand for 25 years plus, and now this has become my house again. So the original home becomes new home, it's a bit weird. But when I seen this, I went, I need to put this back to where it came from. Now it's not the original, but it is a cracking picture of a Tiger. How awesome is that? That is going back on the bedroom door. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed Flamingo Land. If you have no idea what the following video has all been about, check out the rest of the videos. Might make some sense if you watch a lot of them. If not, it's better than fuck all, really, isn't it? Goodbye. And wrapping up the end of this video. Is that it? Or oh, I forgot anything else?